Lads, I forgot to turn the oven on. <laughs> I was such a fucking brain fart. I forgot to turn the oven on. Hello. <laughs> the oven is on now. <laughs> oh, God. Jelly moment. Big jelly moment. Fuck's sake. Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're gonna just chat for a bit. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Hi. Thank you for the pet. Oh. I'm dying. Mmm. I got to see Luna. I got to see Luna. <laughs> I will I will talk about the Luna concert. It was very fun. I had a great time. It was so good. It was so good. So I they they there was some like like issues, but not with like the group. It was like with the with the venue that was hosting it because <laughs> when i got there because i had the vip meet and greet thing um and they asked you to like check in for that with a qr code between like two and four the event started at six the, the doors opened at six um <laughs> spoiler alert the concert didn't start till half seven <laughs> and in the evening <laughs> 7 30. um so i got there like just after three Thank you for counting that for me. Um, and like when I got there, there was like three different queues, like three whole different lines. The event staff were just like, I swear to God, every other person that went up to them to ask where to go for the line got pointed different directions, like regardless of like if they were standing or if the, they were seating or if they were priority like i was priority because i have you know i'm disabled <laughs> i'm autistic <laughs> so i had priority access but because of how poorly managed it was i didn't get the priority access and i was left standing in a queue because they told us that everyone just stayed together and they would send out staff to go along the queue and like at like five to get people out for the priority access and other stuff right didn't happen so i was standing in the queue getting increasingly overwhelmed from the hello lost from the amount of stuff that was going on because there were so many people it was so so many people um if like we were constantly like where the venues located was like in london and where they were making us queue we had to constantly like disperse because we were blocking like a gate to someone's house like so people were like either walking in or out or a couple times there were cars and every time everyone dispersed to make room for this either people were like pushing to get further in the line and then lying to everyone and being like no i was here i was ahead of you even though they were way behind me um so that was like annoying and because they were like so desperate to get slightly further ahead in line yeah, you can get priority access to things. Mm -hmm. It is a disability. <laughs> it's not just like a quirky mental health thing. It's a, it's a, it's a disability. I don't know if every autistic person would class it as a disability, but I personally do. Um, but that's just me. Um, hope you had fun nonetheless. Is why I hate mass gatherings. Yeah, okay, same. Um, my whole life changed. I opened your eyes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got in and like literally as I got to the very like front line where people were going in, that's when they were like, if you have priority access, go to the side. You were already right at the door, so it didn't make a difference. Um, but I got there and there was a really nice security lady and I was like, hi, I have disabled access. And she was like, oh shit. And like ran me along because <laughs> she was like, uh, next, next time, like try and get like a security person like as soon as possible. And they'll like just get you in. And I was just like, well, no one fucking informed me of this. Um, either way, I got in. Um, 
and then it was a lot of standing around also <laughs> Also, because <laughs> because the okay, I, I'm sorry I'm laughing, right? But I don't care about the queen dying. Um, just gonna get that out there. Um, the the concert happened on the Friday before the funeral, right? And every like event was being like, oh, we're gonna hold a moment of silence for the queen. Um, and I like literally. <laughs> The second they did that at the Luna concert, like the the artists went on stage, like it was before they like were coming out to perform, like a little bit before. The no, the big crowd did not gasp. No, because like this was like before her funeral, so like we all knew she was dead. We like she she was long dead. She was a week dead at that point. <laughs> um, there were still people queuing to go and see her coffin. Like she wasn't in the fucking tomb yet. Um. Vault tomb. I don't fucking know. Either way, they were like, "Oh, out of respect for like the queen, we're gonna have a moment silence," and everyone started booing. The tomb. I don't know what she's in. She went down in the ground, and now she's in her family vault or whatever the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about you, since <laughs> you don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think many people care though. Thank you for all the pets lost. What? <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? Why are you just paying me? <laughs> Can you not speak? Am I just... Or are you just, like, not talking? Okay, I, I don't know. Yeah, everyone booed. Eating, hand dirty. Oh, okay, valid, valid. Enjoy your food. <laughs> oh, it's like I just had a moment just like, oh, shit, 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 shit. I don't know anyone who cares about the queen dying, to be honest. I mean, it's mostly like, like my parents cared. But I don't. Um, I care mostly because I was waiting for my visa to UK, to UK but it got delayed. <laughs> yeah, it was a... I saw... Oh, mate. I was just gonna sound horrible, but when she like, when she did kick the bucket, I was sitting like... I was playing D&D &D when it was announced that she was like under supervision like before they announced her death and like i was like i did i literally i was playing dnd &D. we were taking like a little break because we all needed to like go get a drink and stuff um and then i like went on twitter and everyone, <laughs> everyone on twitter was like the queen's fucking dying and i'm like oh she's dying um <laughs> I checked the news and I had the BBC page open because I was like, you better announce this while I'm in the middle of playing DD, bitch. That would be so fucking funny. Um, but yes, they didn't. We finished DD before it was officially announced that she was dead, which, you know, sad. But I was napping and then I woke up and they're like, the queen's dead. And I was like, ah, sick. <laughs> she failed her deaths. She really did. But to be fair, she was already failing her death save two days before because her hands were blue. It's so funny as well that like right after Tr Liz Truss or whatever the fuck the new MP's name is, and now one true. <laughs> it's so funny how she died after she met Liz Truss. Like she met Liz Truss and was like, I'm done now, lads. <laughs> I'm done with the Tory government. I'm done with it. And now the UK not only has an MP they didn't vote for, but a head of state they didn't vote for. <laughs> Big King Charles. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think most of my, like, like me and my friends are, is that jelly? It is. It's me. Hello, Emperor. Um, but me and my friends were all just like, oh, we have a king now? What the fuck? Like, none of us care about the royal family. And all of us are kind of like, mm, now that Queen Elizabeth is dead, maybe the uh, monarchy will be abolished. <laughs> we talk about the no more Queen of England? Yeah. Yeah, bitch. We're hoping the monarchy... Well, I'm hoping, and my friends are hoping, that the monarchy will be abolished at some point. Because that, that, be, that would be sexy. That would be quite hot and quite sexy. I'm not going to lie. I heard it was a myth. No, she's very dead. <laughs> she was 96. Her hand was turning blue mere days before. She's dead. She's gone. <laughs> she's buried in the ground with her husband. Who is also her cousin. Uh <laughs> Isn't it so fun how, like, my, like, my character royal family isn't a fucking, tr like, circle, but, you know, the royal family on Earth 
they're all a circle because they all breed with each other. <laughs> Isn't it so fun? Isn't it so cool and fun? <laughs> Blue hands. Yeah, her hands were blue. But you can see pictures of it. Like, when I saw that, like, a few days before she was, like, under strict health supervision or whatever the fuck, I was like, she's nearly gone. And she was in Scotland, which is even funnier that she died on Scottish soil. <laughs> so fucking funny, in my opinion. <laughs> um, like, she was... She couldn't, like travel either like and she had like a walking stick and stuff and it was just like yeah she like they they she because usually when they like at least your monarchy is better than having an old man having a stroke when giving a speech uh, uh, i mean listen our entire like monarchy and governmental system is fucked but yeah, it's like she couldn't move much, and usually with a new prime minister, they would get, I don't know the word, but they would get like accepted or whatever the fuck, like the queen would accept their, M like becoming the MP and like their new cabinet or whatever the fuck. In London, in Buckingham Palace. You guys government's okay? No, they're not radio. They're really not. Can you adopt me? And I actually no, never mind. I don't want to live in New Zealand. It's too hot. <laughs> Instantly changed my mind. It's too hot. <laughs> and the seasons are flipped. I wouldn't deal with that. Like, what do you mean? It's isn't it like winter for you or some shit? Go hand it to her though. Yeah, like she was really tough and she wasn't seen out, but it was like she also had the best healthcare imaginable while I while, you know, people were dying. It's just gone spring. Oh. No, that it's too hot though. I mean, you need to remember that I'm all the way up north. You're all the way down south, queen. Not queen, king. Liege. I don't know. Thank you for the pet again. <laughs> Government is hard to look at and listen to. Um, we're not going to get into political beliefs, but we're just going to shit. Can I be a leech? Yeah. You can do do what do what makes you happy, Emperor. Honestly, my leech, <laughs> my leech. <laughs> Why am I already so fucking warm, dude? I hate my body. I almost threw up, but I didn't. <laughs> Why am I so disgusting? Why do you, I know, like I love and appreciate that all of you guys enjoy like coming and like watching me be an idiot, but when I fucking burp and almost puke, how can any of you tolerate that? Like how are any because <laughs> I can't tolerate it? Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm used to it by now. I know, but I don't know. <laughs> It's cute. It's great. I love hearing a good burp. Even when I'm about to fucking puke. I mean, you all are delightful. Burps are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It's my one and only gift to the world. I like genuinely, <laughs> I've been in my house not interacting with the public, like the public for so long that I keep I couldn't physically burp until I started tea shots. Really? That's so weird. I always just have like mad burps. But like when I was on the train down to like London and shit, I was burping and then I'd go, wait, I'm in a public setting. That's not, that's rude now. I can only burp if I have a soda or two. I burp no matter what goes in my body. Sometimes if I eat, I don't know if, it, if I eat, I always eat really fast though, I don't know why, but I always get really bad hiccups after I eat sometimes. I like how I say always and then sometimes. It depends. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I got really bad hiccups when I was on a call with like Titch and Zen when we were watching stuff. That's what she said, but yeah, I prefer Pepsi to have a good burp. 
But jokes aside, burps don't really bother me that much. Farts shouldn't really bother anyone who's okay with burps either. Farts are pretty much burps from your ass. Both come from your bowels. Fair. You will not catch me farting on stream, though. I have some shame. <laughs> I have some shame. You know what I mean? Happy good. Why does food take time to cook? And here I was hoping for some. Nah, you know, you ain't getting that. Nasty bitch. <laughs> Fart segregation. God, draw the line somewhere. Exactly. I will burp forever, but I draw the fucking line at farting, okay? I draw the line there. You are not farting. <laughs> I have never, never, I don't fart. <laughs> Never! <laughs> don't, don't you dare! <laughs> I am not. I can. I can. Like, I can't even, like, poop if there is a stranger in my house. It's a great. Can jellyfish fart? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, like, completely biologically jellyfish. I, I do have, like,. Quote unquote humanoid forms. It's a great stream when we talk. <gasps> so, coming back <laughs> to the queen dying <laughs> on the day that, like, before she was announced that she that she passed, I was down. I was down talking to my parents, and we were talking about burps and farts. <laughs> and my, and my, my dad was like. Man, imagine if someone asked what you were doing when the queen died, and we're just like, we were talking about fart. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wasn't, I, there wasn't some tragic, like, oh my god, the queen's dead. I was talking about burps and farts. <laughs> Very on brand for me. <laughs> also, I love how we have. Someone who's at, like, it's midnight. We have 8 a.m. We have me that it's 1 p.m. <laughs> so many time zones. <laughs> All uniting to watch me be an idiot. <laughs> Talk about farts and the queen dying. And Luna, which is what I was originally talking about. At least you're having fun talking about farts. Exactly. You guys are still... Yeah, radio's in Sunday. Radio's in the future. Get back in the past, you fucking bastard. Give back ye. Thanks for the pet loss. Hey, Bob, what did you do when the queen passed away? Bob, I was talking about farts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Bob for real. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, but yeah, Luna concert was fun. Going back to that again. I'm here, so oh, my God. So I shouldn't... <laughs> I would say it's a good time to talk about degenerate stuff. I... Is farting degenerate? Also, if one of my real life friends was in chat right now, I guarantee you they would t they would talk about how my fuck it when I do fart, it's a nuclear. It's fucking horrific. The stench that comes out of me, it smells like something's dying. For real. <laughs> she she always gets fucking pissed off at me. And it's so funny. Nice. <laughs> I stinky. I mean, ew. <laughs> so that's why I don't fight. <laughs> Unless I'm around her because it's annoying her. <laughs> also, apparently I talk in my sleep. Because she was having a sleepover with me the other night. And I she couldn't sleep well. And I was passed the fuck out because that's how I be. And apparently I talk in my sleep. That's not creepy at all. And now apparently I just mumble. Like she moved to like get a bit more comfortable, and apparently I just went like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she was like, "I'm sorry." And then she was like, "Oh wait, no, she's just talking in her sleep." My brother walks and oh Jesus, fuck the walking part. At least I stay still and Angelie's rapping in her sleep. I fucking drop straight bars in my sleep, lads. <laughs> Oh, I'm so warm. Thank you, Lord. 
My food will be ready in like 10 minutes. I'm so excited for my food. I'm so excited. Ah! Fuck, that scared me. You were warm? Yes! I'm always fucking warm. <laughs> I ran out of my medication that helps me because I have hyperhidrosis, so I like, which basically just means I excessively sweat. <clears throat> and I ran out of my medication and now I'm just dying. At least your hands are not going blue anytime soon. True. I ain't dying yet, bitches. I... I... had to go to the dentist yesterday. Not for my teeth. For my tongue. <laughs> because... For like, since, like, on the 24th of August, I got a little ulcer under my tongue, right? They cleared up in a few days, but then literally ever since then... My tongue has just been in, like, constant pain. Like, well, near constant. Like, sometimes it's not there, and other times it's really bad. Um, so I contacted my doctor and was like, hey, my tongue is in pain, and it's been in pain for, like, over three weeks now. What the fuck is going on? Uh, and they were like, okay, go to your dentist, and if your dentist doesn't know what's going on, come back to us. So <clears throat> I had to get an emergency appointment with my dentist, um, <clears throat> thank you for the pets. Um, she looked at my tongue. Thankfully, everything is, like, fine. Thank you for counting the book. 220, fuck me, dude. Um, so yeah, my tongue is fine. There doesn't seem to be anything, like, wrong with my tongue itself. Um, but I still have pain. Uh, she thinks... I might be grinding my teeth in my sleep, but I don't, obviously I don't know because I'm fucking asleep. I don't experience any teeth pain. We'll make it to 269 soon, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Um, and because like I clench and grind my jaw in my sleep, it's like, it could be pressing my tongue like up against my teeth, which is irritating it. <clears throat> or alternatively, I could have vitamin or iron deficiency. Fun fact, I have got tested for iron deficiency multiple different times and all of my blood work came back fine. So maybe maybe this time when I call my doctor on Tuesday being like, Ayo, can I get blood taken so you can test if I have vitamin deficiencies? <laughs> multiple times, yeah. Like, it's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. They constantly go, you're anemic. And then they test me for anemia and I'm not anemic. And then they go, eh, it's nothing then. Meanwhile, I have so many issues. And every time, every time I go to a doctor and I'm like, look, I have this issue. They're either like, you're constipated or it's your iron. And then they test my iron and my iron is fine. They give me laxatives. The laxatives don't really help anything that's going on and it's just like and i just cycle those two fucking options no matter what i do when the fucking doctors <laughs> i hate going to the doctor i hate it because they just don't listen they don't listen to me if the doctor don't tell me what's wrong with me on the first time i'm gonna give an apple to the face god you should thank you for the pet countess how are you, Countess? So yeah, I have to go to the doctor and be like, hey, went to the dentist about my tongue thing that I told you about. They were like, it could be a vitamin deficiency. It could be like an underlying cause from that. So go get your blood done and blah, 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 blah. And then my, do my doctor's probably going to, you know, do my blood work and everything's going to come back fine. How are you? I'm good. We were just talking because I'm waiting for my, my nuggies. Maybe the doctor sucks. It really does. It's objectively one of the worst things. Um, so yeah. We'll do that and then guarantee you my bloods will come back fine. And then I have to wait until January to actually go to the dentist because my the local dentist office closed down. I wasted my time in the day to have a checkup. And if there's something wrong with me, don't waste more time. Yeah, exactly. But I have to wait till January because my local dentist branch has shut down permanently. 
part of the reason I love Asian healthcare, these guys will go to hell and back to figure out what's wrong bothering you or they are not doctors at all. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Because, like, literally, I'll go and be like, hey, like, when I had... When I had a kidney infection last year, um, there was a whole fucking fiasco with that where they were like, where they were fucking dead set on saying I was just constipated. And I was like, I'm still in pain. I'm having, you know, regular bowel movements and I'm still in pain. And that's only when they did the test and gave me antibiotics. And it's just like, they don't listen. Like, I know currently that everything is like fucking booked to shit. But like, come on, dude. Also, my nuggets are ready. Be right back. Hello. I'm no longer looking into your soul. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I've had issues like that as well, Radio. Where it's just like... Welcome back. Thank you. I have my nuggies. Hey, being out of breath. <laughs> Enjoy the nuggies, I will. Um... I think it would be cheaper to travel to Korea, book a doctor appointment there and get cured or <laughs> whatever and try to get anything done in the US. Yeah. Honestly, even with the- Okay. Um... <laughs> I still believe the same for the fucking UK, for real. Like, I swear to God, if I went- to like Korea or something, they would actually fix whatever's going on with me. I can't read subtitles. Get good. But yeah, like radio. I've had issues like that before where I've been like, like when I'm extremely stressed, like at my old job, I would be hitting my head on walls um, <clears throat> and punch myself in the head because I was so stressed and I didn't know what else to do. And every time I like, told that to like my psychiatrist and stuff they were just kind of like okay didn't didn't <laughs> it did nothing just nothing just like okay cool and it's just like mm, mm. i saw i didn't say good i said get good bitch get good i was like everyone does everyone does that <laughs> what fucking doctor do you have that they're going like yes yeah, when they're stressed out hits their head on the wall and punches himself well, in the head the user. little man can read subtitles l plus ratio l plus ratio for sure for sure <laughs> ah chicken nugs too hot can't bite into nugget too hot fresh out the oven that i f originally forgot to turn on <laughs> you need to call me a bit i call everyone a bitch i am Do you have work today? I'm getting roasted at 8 a.m. Hi, Josh. How are you, Josh? Bitch, affectionate. Exactly. But yeah. I don't hit myself in the head anymore. Just to clarify, because I don't get as stressed out anymore. <laughs> I sort of expect a psychiatrist being better in the West, though, considering the number of different communities and whatnot there. You know, they're not like you would hope so i did session one of the campaign i'm running Ooh, how did it go at least i think not if i go oh shit go go in the next 10 minutes you know what happened fair enough uh i would just not go either lasted three hours hell yeah like enos the 
being like someone who was assigned female at birth um when i because i didn't get diagnosed as autistic until like literally this year like march of this year i've been pursuing um an autism diagnosis for like a really long time and i finally like got it this year um and every time i went to the doctor to like when i was like in the process of getting a psychiatrist and everything being like i think i'm autistic they were like oh we can't like deal with that you have to go to this person and they'll deal with it and then i'd go to that person and be like i think i'm autistic and they'd be like oh we can't do anything you have to go back to the doctor and i'd be like you're telling me different things um so eventually i got my psychiatrist and when my psychiatrist was assigned to me i was like i said to the people being like telling me when my appointment's going to be I think I'm autistic and I keep getting told that I have to go here but then they tell me to go back to my doctor and then my doctor tells me to go here um and they're like you have to ask your psychiatrist in one of your sessions only 30 percent of AFAB with autism actually get a diagnosis. exactly it's fucking obscene I forgot the first time I went they were like are you sure you're just not depressed Asia doesn't have any her concept of depression and autism it's usually you were just lazy and useless and that's pretty much it no care for mental issues at all or almost no care it's getting a little better but West are much more aware of it which is why I said what I said yeah no yeah like obviously I'm not like being like a cunt <laughs> it's like I'm just from my experience with it it's not good and I still get called lazy and useless like before I got my diagnosis um I was lazy and useless for like because I was depressed and because I had or like I was autistic and had no fucking support and like when I went to my GP and was like I think I'm autistic they were like are you sure you don't just depressed my guy I was just explaining to you how some like different textures make me want to scream and I can feel it in my teeth and I want to rip my skin off when I hear certain things touch certain things smell certain things have certain things that are food in my mouth how i hate being touched most of the time by a lot of people because i hate it because it feels like burning uh i hit myself when i'm incredibly stressed out i constantly stim or tick if, if, um, if that's what you call it you feel texture in my bones i can just feel it like blech. like i can feel it all through me but like i can feel it in my teeth um like and i don't understand what's going on with social situations i've been horrifically bullied all throughout my life in school um i had literally no friends because no one fucking wanted to be friends with me because i was the weird kid i only was in a group of people because that was like the safest thing i could do i was not friends with them they were just a safety net they never invited me to things i would always get like I would go to things because if they remembered that I was there and invited me, but I'd never got like invited just because, you know, people enjoyed my presence in high school. Um, and he was just like, oh, are you sure you're not just depressed? Cool. <laughs> yeah, let me just fucking. <laughs> Damn, you're right, King. It's the depression. It's the depression. It's not anything else at all. It's the depression. I don't like getting touched either. It feels like there's a lingering feeling after they touch me and it makes me... For me, it's just... The act of being touched by other people is just too much. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just too much. It was, which is one the Luna concert. I, had, I literally started shaking and crying at one point because I forgot my earplugs for one thing because I was in a fucking rush and I forgot my earplugs big mistake i really needed the earplugs because it was it was really loud and i would just wasn't like i would i kept blocking my ears to like make it a bit more bearable for me um and there was a girl next to me who was having a great time she was vibing she was dancing and stuff and i was like good on you but you keep touching me like literally she kept bumping into me and she had really long hair and it kept like hitting against me when she like moved her head and I literally, I wanted to scream. Like, I was about to collapse. There was just so much. I kept trying to budge away from her, but she, like, just kept taking more and more space. <laughs> and I was literally about to throw up, and I had to run out of the crowd and go to, like, the very back of um everything to be away from it all. 
and like if i had my earplugs it probably would have been a bit more bearable for me because there wouldn't be a complete assault on my senses um and i also could have enjoyed the concert because i had to close my eyes as well because <laughs> i was like it's too bright it's too loud there's someone constantly touching me it's so hot there's so much smell um so yeah that was but yeah it's just things like that and then i remember it's just like um, remember when your doctor was like are you sure you're not just depressed and it's just like okay <laughs> now i have my autism diagnosis so fuck that guy <laughs> i was right the only reason they like don't like um like especially for women because obviously there's a preconceived notion that women can't be autistic the amount of times like i'm not a woman i am non-binary remember um I asked two different therapists if they could help me diagnose whether or not I have autism and the answer I got were autism people don't show emotions and you seem very emotional <laughs> and you're just bad at social interactions and I'm just here like okay there's so, that explains nothing about the symptoms I explain to you but okay yeah like see a thing with autistic like I mean I'm going to say women but I mean assigned female at birth but saying women is just just so you know I'm not it's just quicker for me to fucking say as i'm saying this um because i'm not a woman countess isn't a woman but you know women um when they come up like up being like hey i'm autistic they're, everyone is just kind of is like no you're not no you're not women can't be autistic and it's like a lot of autistic women are very very emotional because we display autism differently to men because this is like <laughs> It's gonna sound political and I'm sorry, but the society we're raised in makes us mask our stuff a lot differently because we're raised to be like, oh, we're girls, we have to act a certain way, we have to be really emotionally available, we have to do all this, 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 this. Um, and obviously if you are if you're not as high needs as other like autistic people could be, you can mask that a lot better. And you can be and a very emotional person. You can be incredibly in tune to what's going on around you with emotions. But socially, that might not match up. Like, boys will be bo boys, but girls have to act a, a certain way. They're so much better at masking. Exactly. Like, I was really... I was good at masking. Um, not very well, because people still bullied me horrifically and I didn't have any friends. Uh, I'll read your message just now, Ina. To be honest, I do have a concept of depression. Ah, oh, fuck me. I scrolled too far. To be honest, I do have some of that sort of that traditional skepticism, mostly because I grew up in that kind of environment. Big fuck. Big e. Where is it? Big part also being that a lot of people just tend to fake being autistic and all. But I do understand at least there are a lot of there are a lot of people who have genuine problems like that it's just to me it seems 80 percent of people with autism don't actually have it i'm i don't know how to word what i want to say but I, <laughs> autism can display in multiple different ways like a lot of the reason i struggled to get a diagnosis is because a lot of people have a preconceived notion of what autism looks like and most of the time it looks like a young like a boy like a six-year-old boy um or it looks like an adult man who can't speak who just makes noises and stuff like that like i'm not in any way saying that's how it, it you see it like at all but like that's how most people see it they either think you are a toddler because i have been treated like a toddler multiple occasions i have been discriminated against because of my autism um when i disclose i'm autistic in workplaces the amount of times i will get treated like a child or deny job opportunities and they make up an excuse because like as much as i don't understand social situations when i disclose like I get a decent enough reading on emotions in situations, right? Not perfect, but 
I remember when I had an interview for a job, the interview, fucking amazing. It was amazing. But then I disclosed I was autistic. Their faces dropped. Didn't get the job. Because they had a quote unquote better candidate. It's a very diverse skill, but it's also one of the most vacant. It is. Like. I don't want to say that people fake being autistic because autism, it's a spectrum. It's a disability that's on a very, very, very wide spectrum. Like, you can talk to any autistic person and they'll have a completely different experience to another autistic person. Like, sure, there's definitely going to be overlap in certain experiences and stuff, but Oh, everyone's going to be different. Like, when I disclose I'm autistic, the amount of times people go, you don't look autistic. And I'm just going, okay, so you expect me to be um, a nonverbal drooling idiot, right? Is that what you expect me to be? Like, you don't expect me to be someone who's functioning in society? I'm not really functioning because I barely function in general. Um, but it's just... Yeah. Because you'll get autistic people who are, oh, hello, we're talking about autism. <laughs> How are you doing, 2000? I'm just going to say 2000 until you tell me to call you something else. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just... Autism has such a wide spectrum, and it's so vague, and it can be so difficult to categorize Jesus, it. Fuck, you know? those are some crunchy nuggets. Call me BR? Okay. Yeah, they are crunchy. <laughs> We're shiny. We're yeah, here tomorrow. Thank you for the pat. Because I'm always on the lookout for more VTubers to follow, especially those who share my condition. Yeah! Like, we're just talking about how every autistic person has a different experience as an autistic person and like how it's so fucking wide of like because the amount of times people fucking like i was saying literally two minutes before you've shown up i think being like the people when i disclose i'm autistic they look at me and go you don't look autistic or they go like i thought only boys got autism <laughs> like no <laughs> everyone can be autistic <laughs> literally everyone <laughs> <laughs> Where's my VTuber group autistic VTuber rep? And all right. <laughs> autistic VTubers need to make their own company. <laughs> do not put responsibility on me. I do not know how to handle myself. <laughs> get, get an autistic person who's really organized, because that's not me, bitch. I wish I was one of them bitches, but I ain't. <laughs> I'm organized about only specific things. Everything else is a fucking mess. <laughs> they definitely need to make one more autism speak. <laughs> Imagine if autism speaks tried to make a VTube. <laughs> They would get shot on so hard. <laughs> Me who this is my time to shine. Let's go. <laughs> Radio got this. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so nice talking to other autistic people sometimes. Like, I always forget. <laughs> that I communicate so differently <laughs> to everyone else. And then I talk to autistic people and generally speaking, there's a vibe. Not with everyone, not with everyone. Sometimes it's a, it's a fucking mess, but other people, I'm just like, you understand me on a deep level. Thank you. I'm getting nugget. 
I had to work in a group a lot of times and always met one person or the other that was always like, oh, I'm autistic or I have ADHD or whatever. And I tried to be understanding as possible and be like, okay, if you need help. Was that a premiere ball? I don't know. I wasn't looking. <laughs> Pay better attention. And then three to four days later, they didn't do anything I asked them to, not to mention didn't even contact me because they spent their time playing games, clubbing, whatnot. It happened to me at a time, which is why I rarely trust these words. But yeah, but those persons are just assholes. And also... I do the same thing. I don't feel good about it. I always feel bad about it. Um, but when I disclose I'm autistic, I'm afraid of like asking for help because I don't want to be a burden. And then I end up getting into this pit of just anxiety. And that's why I'll play games and stuff and not be able to do anything because I'm just avoiding the thing that's making me anxious. And the thing that the thing that's making me happy is like the game. Because I don't like asking for help. I don't like being a burden. Because I need a lot of help. This mix, honestly. Mm, yeah, everyone's is different. But my experience is just like... I go, I'm autistic. Get into your face. That's crazy. Same. It's scary. I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to... Because they're already doing all this work. And then I have to go in and be like, uh, Can you also help me do this work? And I just, it scares me. I don't want to do that to someone. So I end up just like, <laughs> I end up just playing a game and annoying, like avoiding the thing that's giving me anxiety. And in my head, I'm sitting there going, you need to stop fucking avoiding this because you need to do this. Like you need to, all these people are going to be let down by you. Like, <laughs> and then I just don't do it. And then I get anxious and cry. Like, it's not a thing they're doing, like, out of malice. Like, some people, sure, they're probably being a dick. But I guarantee you most of the people will be fucking sitting there shitting themselves. And, like, because I get frozen. Get fucking frozen. And my brain, no matter how much I'm trying to focus on a game or something else that's fun... My brain is constantly going, you need to be doing the thing. You need to be doing the thing. Why aren't you doing the thing? Why aren't you doing the thing? Do the fucking thing. And I just can. And it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Sorry, I ignored chat for a bit there. <laughs> uh, I really like to have a subtle level. My GF gets mad at me because I don't ask for help. Yeah, it's so scary to ask for help. It's so fucking scary. Like, I still my best friend of seven years who i know i can go to about literally anything anything still fucking terrified to ask her for help sometimes because i don't want to be an inconvenience to her <laughs> i'm scared that she'll get annoyed at me <laughs> i feel like i wouldn't be the same without it but i also kind of wonder if my school experience would have been less traumatic if i was neurotypical same like the amount of times br that i have been sitting there going like i wonder what i would be like if i wasn't autistic and then i'd be like mm, i don't mm -mm, i don't want to think about that because <laughs> it's just being autistic is completely and utterly affected the way i live and function you know fun fact if you put cold water into someone's ear their eyes will automatically turn to the other side but if you put warm water their eyes will automatically turn to the side where the water was in that's weird but okay <laughs> Like, see, um, you're spying information. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I love how I have so many autistic people in the chat right now. <laughs> we flock together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do like being an autistic person but you know it'd be autistic hive mind true but it'd be nice to be like actually i don't know if it would be nice but then again like can i can you imagine being neurotypical and not how the nuggies the nuggies are good can you imagine not being a neurotypical tip not fuck me can you imagine being neurotypical and not hearing everything ever? 
<laughs> like, what do you mean you have a brain that filters out noise? What do you mean? <laughs> I hear everything. How do you function? And they have all these like little issues and like understanding social cues. Oh my God. It'd be so good. <laughs> Imagine not having a specific texture that you touch and immediately get a dopamine release. I know, right? <laughs> I just imagine being able to interact with other people and know what's going on. <laughs> Jelly is a person making me want to go get checked and then there's no psychiatrist in my city, so I'm thinking here like, well, fuck, you gotta suffer. That is quite a perspective. People do tell me, though, that I'm quite scary to approach. I have this piercing and judging gaze, but and I also tend to be very commanding when doing group work. I don't tolerate being late. Yeah, Enos, I don't know how to say this in a very delicate way, but that is why they don't go to you. <laughs> they're scared of you as well. I mean, I'm generally very chill. I work on only my own stuff, but if there's a team, I expect 110% out of people. So I am partly to blame, I guess, but also I do talk to people all ask of their opinions. I want to make sure everyone is given help if they're needed, but they still don't ask. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. that's why people don't ask you for help. One, you're scary. Like that'll help. That I got snake bite piercings because it's like a stim toy I can bite on. The amount of time because I, mm, I got a septum ring that's like perfectly circular, and the amount of times I spin it in my nose. Perfect. But yeah, they're probably not doing it out of malice. Like obviously, some people might, but. I'm probably not doing it out of malice, Enos. Baking my nose. I have... I got a... I got a ring that I wear on my finger that I speed. I mean, I'm friendly as long as you're trying to work with me. Um, I have a spinny ring. Where is it? I forgot where I put it. There it is! Found it. can't really hear it yeah like Enos I know you're a very friendly person but like I imagine people might be intimidated by you especially because you are so organized and like you're very much like ask for help if you need help but like I think it would be good to be more proactive because I appreciate it if someone is like, hey, uh, I don't know if you need help. Um, but here's like all this stuff like listed out that like I'd like you to do and how to do it. Um, sorry if it's like presumptuous, but, but just in case here it all is, because that helps me a lot because then I go like, OK, <laughs> it's broken down for me and he's not being scary <laughs> and it makes it more approachable. Just buy one dollar fidget toys from AliExpress. I'm really salty about how fidget spinners became cringy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I have a spring that I like. I literally all throughout the Luna concert and the train ride and stuff. I was spinning this bitch. I don't know if it can be heard, but I think it can. <laughs> I spin it so much. It's so good. Mm. yeah enos it's like good that you're like listening to other autistic people's experiences and like actually taking that perspective in um you know i'm trying to find those fidget cubes i can bring to oh i have a fidget cube it's so good it's fucking pog for real for real i need to get a new one though because mine broke because i used it too much <laughs> there was like one part of the fidget cube because i like really really clicky things um and there was like one particular bit on the fidget cube that was so clicky and i was just constantly 
It was perfect. It was mwah, chef kiss. Ooh, and then I played with it so much it got fucking stuck. <laughs> it got stuck and I can't unstick it. <laughs> I said before, I made step-by-step lists for people to follow, even text and sometimes like, I hope you're doing okay. If you need... Fucking just scroll up, chat. You either get left on red and they told me everything is fine. Just constantly check. Loss, what are you doing? <laughs> Law. <laughs> Loss, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't, I'm scared. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, clicky things are very good, though. They're very poke. I also like spinny things. Oh, also, when I was on vacation for those two weeks, I met up with, uh, t check your email. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Thank you for the fuck. <laughs> the fidget slugs. Yes. The fidget slugs. Thank you for the fuck. That's <laughs> That's so sweet, thank you! Oh my god! I really needed that, thank you so much! <laughs> oh. You're so nice to me, love! <laughs> That's my first, like, gift from the throne thing. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited now. That's gonna be so good. Because I, I really need that. <laughs> ah! Now I'm all hyper and stimmy. Fuck me. The fidget slugs are so good. I... The fidget slugs sound so good. <laughs> Bruh, why are people nice to me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking first year. I really needed that. <laughs> the amount of joy put the clicky put the clicky -e thing on throne so I see, see it no <laughs> listen I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the this the, the fidgety slug is on my throne You don't need to buy me things. You don't need to buy me things. You don't. Maybe I have one as well. But I just like to think I'm dumb and lazy. I am. Um... Listen, I guarantee you, I thought I was dumb and lazy, but you know. Turns out I wasn't. <laughs> I just have issues. <laughs> <laughs> I also send you a thank you message on throne. Ah, I'm so fucking excited. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I have the fidget slug. God, the amount of fidget. What the fuck? Buy stuff. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> you really don't need to. <laughs> You can also just suggest things and not buy me things, and I can add that. You know, you can just. I d ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you fucking broke me, Lost. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm fucking. I'm broken. <laughs> I fucking don't know what is going on anymore. Boop. That was a good. That was a little burp. It was like a normal burp, you know? It's not usually like the monstrous ones I have. I'm fucking. I'm sweating more now. Oh, is...
You guys are so nice to me. You guys are so sweet to me. I don't know why. I, I'm so glad that I have such a nice little group of people who enjoy my content, man. You guys are so nice to me. <laughs> you guys are so nice. I'm just, I genuinely keep smiling. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the pet. <clears throat> I wouldn't say I'm nice. It's fine. You are nice to me occasionally. <laughs> Thank you for the pet. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna have a foot rest. I don't need to sit like a little goblin on both my fucking legs on my desk anymore <laughs> to be comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so excited. I'll t I'll, sh I'll take a picture when it arrives. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually getting a gift. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Stretch, thank you. Legs on the desk. <laughs> I sit back on my chair. And I put my legs on my desk because I don't have anywhere to... I can't sit comfortably with my legs, like, down. I have to be, like, lounging and stuff. And this will help me lounge a bit more because I can lean back and not put my fucking legs on my desk. They're not on my desk right now. Well, they kind of are, but they're not. <laughs> One of them is on the shelf right next to me. My desk has shelves in it, and my other leg is on that shelf. <laughs> I sit like a little goblin. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sweaty. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I've had the, ga the game that I'm planning on playing open this entire time. Um, <laughs> we've been live for an hour and like 13 minutes. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. So we'll play, the we'll play the game and chat as well. Cheese is here. Hello, Cheese. How are you? Okay. Slime Rancher? No, because my computer will implode. <laughs> We're gonna play Trombone Jam. <laughs> I am conscious. That's fair. I am also conscious. <laughs> Listen, what is that? <laughs> I kept seeing it on my on my for you page. <laughs> it's the game. It is. It's the game. And I was like, I want to play this. It seems dumb, and it is dumb, and I love that. <clears throat> my shit's updated now. Yes, <laughs> the game. <laughs> Yeah, my chat needs to get popped out because it is too small. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. I'm making the chat bigger so I can read it. <clears throat> Are any of us really conscious? True. Um, it's a rhythm game. Where you play a trombone. <laughs> That's it. Then there's baboons. And so it comes to pass. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul, one day you will stand before two baboons. One day, you will rent the very <laughs> fabric that binds this land. <laughs> Let me know if it's too loud or something. But until that it sounds a decent enough level. You must toot. <laughs> 
You must toot. <laughs> Teach your trombone, brave soul. And you may yet become the trombone champ. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Is it loud enough? Or is it should I make it a little bit quieter? It's so dark so <laughs> loud enough? Okay. Chosen tutor? We can so there's these bitches, there's Appal Appalooza, Beezerly, Kaylee the Second, Trixie Bell, Melder, Germa Jess, <laughs> Horn Lord, or Soda. Weather? <clears throat> Who should we play as? Should we play as Horn Lord? It does nothing. Sad. It might be broken. Soda is so yellow. Horn Lord? Horn Lord? <laughs> People want a Horn Lord. Aggressively yellow. Right, warm up. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Shut up. I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need tutorial. What are you talking about? It's horn time, baby. Oh god, don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. There we go. <laughs> oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Fuck. Bro, I'm so good at this game. There's lyrics, so you guys can sing all the fuck. I fucked it. It's a sing along stream for real. Takes me back to music lessons in high school. <laughs> Toot your heart out, get I got an S rank. Let's go. I feel like my thing is lagging. <laughs> <laughs> they have old lag sign, bro. Hey, do I have baboon? Baboons. <laughs> there are between two and four living spiders living inside the average trombo trombone. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fun. F okay. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh. Monkey. Monkey. Fuck.
<laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Watch me have nightmare about spiders living inside the trombone tonight. Fuck it, I'm buying a vision cube. Let's go. You're doing good. I'm jamming out way too hard for this. <laughs> this slaps. This fucking slaps. All right, wait, we can buy. We can fuck off. I don't need to choose my trombonus. We can collect. We can get baboons. Thank you for the pet. Gimme, give gimme give a stack. Gimme a stack of toots, bro. <laughs> Four fresh unique tromboner cards. Do not eat. Bruh. Music is what we call the sounds made by trombones. <laughs> it's like hot dogs for your ears. It sounds really good, except for when it sounds bad. Try to find music that you enjoy and then listen to it a lot. Favorite clef of the primordial baboon Bassmaster Ben. This clef represents dark, but there can be no dark without light. This self-taught jazz trombonist was a prominent performer in the pre-bebop era and performed along Louis Armstrong. Specializing in New Orleans style jazz. He could eat he could eat a dozen hot dogs in one sitting. Good for him. I'd listen to that music if I was in a silly goofy mood. Me too. Dick Slide Hide. Fuck me, that's a name. <laughs> Dick Slide Hide. Oh no, he's dead. No. <laughs> American session tromboner who recorded for a number of legendary music musicians. Won Best Trombone Player Award in 1974, the most prestigious award ever given to a human in history. Damn. Let's go. We got cards, boys. BRB rebranding his dick slime. <laughs> oh god, what a name! Fucking dick slide hide. What do you mean? What do you mean that's your name? <laughs> I know Slide is a nickname, but fuck, dude. Okay. What could we play next? We have so much to choose from. All right, we're gonna do Old Lang Sign, because that's Scottish. <laughs> the first trombone was invented in 20 million BC. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Follow the rhythm, Jelly. Two, 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 two. And now for the long one. You can do it. Simon, Simon, Simon. With me. To, o, 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 ta, o, 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 two, 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 two. I mean, there used to be a mayor in America named Harry Bowles. <laughs> God save the queen. Oh, way too late for that. 
Go save the king, baby. Imagine this music is playing during you know what? What? The funeral? <laughs> or shut our fucking. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada, baby. If you place all the trombone on Earth end to end, they would wrap around the solar system four times. Damn. How do we fit all them on Earth? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Canadians, this is for you. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout out to Canadians, gotta be one of my favorite genders. True. True. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do God save the king. Did they <laughs> they, had to... they had to make it God save the king? Is the queen's dead? Oh my god. Right, we're doing the national anthem sir. There are more trombones on earth than there are humans. Holy shit. Trombone uprising pending, lads. Ain't no way. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is what they played when the queen was lowered into her tomb. With the with the with the horns as well. Rank, baby, let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm falling. <laughs> GG. So, are you crying because of the S rank for the queen? We gotta get the S rank for the queen, okay? She's dead. We gotta honor her somehow. After I booed the moment of silence at Luna. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, let's do... Let's do Stars and Stripes. This isn't the national anthem for America, but... The highest note playable on trombones is so high-pitched that only certain species of bats can hear it. <laughs> what? <laughs> These facts are good. I bet- I bet they're 100% truthful and if- Why did they have to make this so difficult? This is what these bitches march to? The fuck do you mean? What the fuck, dude? Thank you. 
<laughs> fucking marching. <laughs> that one where is what's their rep fucking national anthem called why was i thinking it's ball game that's not that's not the national anthem of america <laughs> they don't have it oh is it star spangled Americans tell me. I don't know if I, do I have a Emperor's American? I don't know where I know where Radio and Josh and Enos are from. It says national anthem, so I'm gonna assume. Why is it why did they The world record for most trombones owned is held by Mike Brass of Omaha, Nebraska. He owns two trombones. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh okay, okay, okay. Not giving a shout out to the Americans. The Canadians get it, the Americans don't, right? <laughs> I'm looking at fidget toys and one of the fucking things I see while scrolling is a fucking sex toy. <laughs> Best kind of fidget toy. You can play with a toy and yourself at the same time. True. Enos is right. Okay, more cards, more cards. We have so many, we have so much. We Listen, we've got the gacha gambling itch. Oh my God, we can get three. Beethoven. This influential composer and pianist, best known for his <laughs> Symphony No. 5, um, lost his hearing late in life, possibly as a side effect of eating 50 hot dogs in one sitting. <laughs> Don Drummond, legendary Jamaican ska trombonist with a troubled history of mental illness and murder, ultimately ending with his death at Bellevue Asylum in Kingston. Nice. Uh, Gustav Holst. This American composer, best known for his orchestral suite, The Planets, also played the trombone professionally, which means he is worthy of our respect. Being English, he did not eat hot dogs. <laughs> like, English people don't eat hot dogs. Oh, Mac Mac <laughs> he's still alive! Maximalist, electronic composer, and producer of bespoke soups. In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. <laughs> I studied Gustavo since school. Holy shit, really? <laughs> 
I'm assuming Max Tundra is one of the developers of this game. <laughs> Richard Strauss, this leading German composer of operas and symphonic poems, was arguably best known for the piece also, <laughs> I'm not going to bother with that. Whether or not he ate hot dogs is unknown. Slide. This is the funny part of the tram trombone that goes in and out. Notes go up, note goes down. Note goes up, note goes down. Without this, you don't have a trombone. You just have a trumpet. Disgusting. I'm starting to think in order to become a musician, I need to start eating hot dogs. Yeah, I think this is what they're telling us. More things should have slides on them. Favored clef of primordial. Oh, I've already got that one. This prestig Arthur Pryor, this prestigious Missouri-born trombonist who wrote some of the mo most well-known trombone pieces, played the with Sosa's band and was a prolific composer of band music. He could eat nine hot dogs in one sitting. Is this like how you judge the worth of a person <laughs> in this game? How many hot dogs they can eat? <laughs> Melba Liston, a woman. This Missouri-born jazz trombonist and composer was the first woman trombonist to play in big bands during the 1940s, and later worked on arrangements for Motown Records. She could eat 10,000 hot dogs in one sitting. Good job! E I Igor Stra Stravinsky. 10,000 hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know how accurate these facts are, lads. I <laughs> don't know how accurate the girl bossing. <laughs> she girl bossing, she gatekeeping, she gaslighting. <laughs> she doing all of that by claiming 10,000. <laughs> that girl like them, we ah, like them wieners, true. Revolutionary Russian composer, best known for his thunderous ballet, The Rite of Spring. He could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. So... I don't understand. Is it more? Is it, is it more hot dogs for power? Or is it less hot dogs for power? <laughs> JJ Johnson. Indianapolis-born JJ Johnson was one of the most influential jazz, jazz trombonists of all time, credited with demonstrating that the trombone could be played in a fast bebop style. He could eat ten hot dogs in one sitting. We've already got done. We've already got him. Oh, our cards. Our cards are increasing. I can return to car. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so turds can be used. To oh my god. Thank you. Alright, more. More. Uh. What's this? Oh, this is the first. This has become a staple at Jewish weddings and bar but mitz bar slash bar mitzvah celebrations. Let's go. It takes over three thousand tons of brass to produce a single trombone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I like these stupid quote unquote facts. Let's go. Oh my... This is the best, like, I don't 15 I think it was 15 pound I've ever spent, I'm not gonna lie.
you paid for this? Yes. Why would I not pay for this radio? <laughs> Circus music. In real life, there are over nine songs that feature a trombone. <laughs> Holy shit, over nine? Radio, I hope this is like helping you draw the thing for your thesis. I hope this is giving you giving you inspiration. <laughs> Ban the use of circus animals. True. My theme song, it absolutely is. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't do well. All right, let's do. Let's do Long Tail Limbo. This was by this is by Max Tundra. We have his card. It makes it takes one thousand workers a full year to produce a single trombone. Drop my spinny ring. You did your best and that's what counts. No, need to be perfect or die. Let's go, let's go. This is gonna be great. in the background. <laughs> Let's go. Let's look and go. This, is, this electronic track is an attempt to capture how it feels to play the trombone. The high note sounds like a mosquito. The trombone is related to the cousin. The, the cousin. The trumpet. They are cousins.
Is this what it feels like to play a trombone for real? Why is it got wings? Damn. Hog. Let's go. GG, <laughs> thank you. Ooh, we have ball game. In England, trombone is spelled. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. Thank you for the pet. I glanced over and saw the redeem. Let's go. Thank you, BR. Have a good lurk. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, what's... what's trombone... Our sad attempt at composing a Moran song, a fast-paced Latin American song... Oh, oh god. This one's gonna fucking kill me. Some claim that Mozart's last words before dying were at least I got to use a trombone. I'd believe it. I'd believe that. Oh my god! <laughs>
God damn, that was fast. That was speedy as fuck, bro. More things, more, more things. Oh, we can open four of them. Thank you for the pet. Design your own. This tromboner card is intentionally left blank so you can design your own. Who's going to put me on the card? <laughs> Franz Schubert. This Austrian composer with an immense body of work is considered one of the best of the 19th century. Although he wasn't widely appreciated until after his death, his one-up, one-down collar, collar style allowed him to more easily consume hot dogs. <laughs> Got that one. Blue Eyes White Baboon. <laughs> one of the most powerful tromboner cards, the Blue Eyes White Bam Baboon is a representation of the treble clef as it relates to Babi, the Egyptian deification of the sacred old world Ham Hamatris Baboon. <laughs> Bought a fidget cube and ear and ear at uh, ear and and at uh, earnings. <laughs> Blue Eyes White Baboon. <laughs> <laughs> Sackbot. <laughs> Did you know that early trom trombones from the Renaissance and Baroque eras are sometimes called sackbots? Yep, it's true. Look it up. Now you know. <laughs> we got him already. Got that. Got that. Earrings. Are they good earrings? John Philip. So I don't think we have this one. The American March King, Sosa, was arguably the greatest of the March composers and had a massive influence on the world of brass instruments. He only ate hot dogs in private. Got him already. Trombone. Without the trombone, none of us would be here. It is the glue that blunt but not race <laughs> that binds us together and the force that keeps us moving forwards. Often called the baboon of instruments, it is the alpha and the omega. The coward's trombone. <laughs> Rimsky Korsakov. This Russian composer was infamous, who infamously wielded two last names in order to double his power level, was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs, though the exact number is unknown. J. Strauss II, let's go. This Austrian born composer wrote over 500 pieces and is credited with popularizing the waltz in 19th century Vienna. Sadly, his baboon-like facial fe facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. That's sad. Right, turd. This game, the game devs really like hot dogs. They do. They really do. <laughs> Here. I literally can't have the fucking thing. If you guys want to put me on the trombone card. <laughs> okay, I want this. Polidoro da Caravaggio, a 16th century Italian painter who painted what may have been the first artistic depiction of a woman playing a trombone in the panel Apollo with the Muses from 1520, excerpted above. I can't read. <laughs> Rouse, I don't fucking know. Popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the US Navy and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sound. Pog? Glenn Miller. 
This trombonist and band leader, extremely popular in the early 1940s, died while flying to France to entertain US troops during World War II. His aircraft disappeared over the English Channel during bad weather. That's unfortunate. <laughs> what's in what's what's in here? What can I do here? Do I need to get more S ranks to unlock this? Mm. No luck. I, I know. Big sad. Big fucking F. I'm gonna decrease the scroll speed a little bit. Let's go. A student, a student's trombone, trombone generally costs between one hundred and three hundred dollars, but a professional trombone can cost over two billion dollars. Two whole billions. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> For personal reasons, can you show? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't like perfectly show it because the mouse will be in the If I put it on the white, actually, you could just like edit. There you go. Well, thank you for the pet. Just let me know when you when you're satisfied with it showing. <laughs> to be busting it down sexual style. Joshua, you never bust it down sexual style. I don't know why I said Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> you're welcome, radio. Okay, let's do let's do Scarbird, yeah? That sounds like a vibe. To this day, scientists don't really know how a trombone makes sound. A real mystery in the world. An ad is gonna be starting in like a little bit, by the way.
fuck. <laughs> So true. Oh, fucking stop being a pussy. You're a trombonist. You seem to have more lung capacity than that, bitch. Nice. You sounded like a disappointed mom after catching her son smoking pot. <laughs> Your full legal name, Joshua. That's it. I only named you Joshua. <laughs> right. What about what about what about skip to my loo? What about that? A professional trombone player is known as a tromboner. Tromboner. Ow. Ooh, I hydrate. Thank you. Shit. I have my water in my hand. I hydrated. <laughs> Do you play on keyboard or controller? Keyboard and mouse. I don't know if it has controller support. Just yet. <laughs> but I play keyboard and mouse right now. <laughs> right, this one, this one is slow as shit. 34 countries have outlawed the use of trombone. In six, in six countries, playing trombone is punishable by death. Did someone just fart? <laughs> I think someone just farted in the game! Nice! Oh shit! <laughs> Easiest S rank of my life, baby. Trombones cannot s contain spit mouths <laughs> that allow you to blow gobs of your nasty spit all over the floor. That is vile. That is vile. Oh, fuck.
Ein Klein haunts me. I haunt you. I haunt your dreams. And every waking moment of your life, I'm there. Let's play it. <laughs> Without trombones, there could never have been ska music. Draw your own conclusions from this factoid. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. You're welcome! Why does this go so hard? Today, laws, and thank you for the present. I will let you know when it arrives. I used to have to play Ein Klein at like 7 a.m. at school. Ew, uh, I like how it's a trap mix. It's a trap mix. Alright, we haven't done Sugar Plum Fairy yet. What if we put the fucking scroll speed at like 60? The average baboon can live to be over 300 years old. Thank you for the pet! Nice. <laughs> yeah, let's let's open more of the thingies and then oh, I'm gonna end stream because I'm getting very tired. <laughs> Yeah. 
This Russian Soviet pianist and composer composed masterpieces across mus multiple musical genres. He infamously consumed hot dogs backwards, top to bottom, rather than side to side. <laughs> This American jazz trombonist, conductor, composer, and band leader's smooth trombone playing earned him the nickname the Sentimental Gentleman of Swing. As an American, he probably ate a lot of hot dogs. We've got him. Oh shit, tromboner cards. Collectible cards featuring tra famous tromboners, legendary composers, and all sorts of incredible things. Everybody loves these cards. Collect them all or suffer the tragic consequences. Mouthpiece. This is where it all begins. The part of the trombone where your mouth goes. Don't put your mouth on the other parts. Without this, you've got nothing. If you ever see a mouthpiece in real life, try blowing air into it. A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of performing a true smooth glissando. Got all them bitches. Tarchovsky! Among the most popular composers of the Romantic period, this Russian composer is well known for The Nutcracker Suite, Romeo and Juliet, and countless more. He could eat eight hot dogs in one sitting. The, this Russian composer, well known for A Night on Bold Mountains and Pictures at an Exhibition, strove to create uniquely Russian music and therefore refused to eat hot dogs. Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach was widely considered one of the most influ influential composers of all time, partially due to his I need head. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> partially due to his Baroque com compositions and mostly because he invented the hot dog. Babi. This ancient Egyptian de deification of the Hamadrius baboon, whose name translates to Bull of the Baboons or Chief of the Baboons, was a day of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Greetings, noble tromboner. Thank you for summoning me. My name is, well, maybe some some things are kept best kept secret for now. I'll assume you summoned me on purpose and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle. <laughs> Greetings! Only an inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champ? Yeah, I do, buddy. But do you even really know what the trombone champ is? <laughs> of course I do. Are you just saying what you think I want to hear or are you for real? Well, maybe it doesn't matter. The baboons will show you the way. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so, and my magic requires sacrificing tromboner cards. Why does my magic require you to sacrifice tromboner cards, you ask? It's best not to ask questions like this. Just go with the flow. Yeah, sure. I currently require... yeah. Yeah, take them. Bruh, what the fuck? Oh, a chest. Click that chest. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Silver trombone. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is that a new trombone to play with? It is! We can play with a silver trombone now. Nice. I'm done for today, though. <laughs> I'm sleepy. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I am going to go for a nap because I am dying. <laughs> the energy is gone from my flesh prison. Conveniently, Titch is going to be streaming soon. 
Okay, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit more until the notification that Titch is streaming comes up. We're we're just gonna we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill the fuck out. Just for a little bit. While we wait for the rat. The rat. Time for me to sleep as well. Good time to tuck in. It's 10 p.m. Have a good sleep. I will haunt your dreams. You know? Ooh, lost during the Discord. Nice. <laughs> if we're raiding Titch, then I'm sticking around until the raid. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to wait for Titch to go live. She sent that message 30 minutes ago. So she's gotta start streaming. Not that I mind you haunting my dreams. I would mind me haunting my dreams. I'm gonna... I'm fucking messaging her being like, go live, I want to raid you. Rat has been off for two weeks due to the fact that she was visiting the UK to visit Zen, who, who is her boyfriend. And they also went to see me and we hung out and took stupid Polaroid pictures together. It was very cute and very gay. <laughs> she is going. I would feed you nuggies, thank you. Don't touch them with your hands though. Please, I don't, I don't want to deal with, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the rat. How am I supposed to feed you then? You put it on a plate and then I'll fucking eat it myself. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't let you and people touch the food, okay? I have issues. We went over this. I have issues. Go cook them. You're not fucking using your hello fucking stinky hands to cook it. I'll touch it either way. I... No. Not allowed. Banned. Not allowed to touch. Oh. The rat's live. <laughs> Bruh. Someone touched your nuggies. Yeah, but they were wearing gloves, so it was fine. Let's go. We're going to bug the, the rat. I'm very sad that we didn't see Shiny today. Wait. Do you think I'm not going to be wearing gloves? How dare you? <laughs> I love how desperate you are. <laughs> to feed me. <laughs> We're going to the rat though. The rat is wonderful, as we all know. Ah! Ah! Raid time. Yes. There's raid messages. Go crazy, go stupid. Oh, big breath. Okay. Again, you are all absolutely delightful. You are incredible to hang out with. I'm glad I got to play. I'll get my therapy. If you donated, f if you did five gifted subs, I would have gave you therapy, bitch ass. <laughs> Much love. Okay. Ending screen. Everyone be nice to the rat. Okay, bye.